What's going on, you guys? Pet Platypus here, and it's time to do a live reaction to episode 11, 11 of One Punch Man. We've got their fucking Star Destroyer ship. Let's do this. Explosions. Naturally, can't have action without explosions. Dead fucking alien carcasses. We got the boss dude on his throne. Well, no, he got up, I guess, but... Yeah, not a fan of Cyclopses, but he looks pretty good, honestly. With his crazy fucking Super Saiyan hair. Dude, this fucking tentacle porn guy must be popular in Japan. Fan favorite character right here on the monitors. He has a very weird design. Like, I can see his legs now, and he has a very weird outfit. That's <laughs> like Thomas' face on the monitor, that's great. That is great. These guys are gonna lose. Just go fight him yourself, bruh. Let me guess the opening. It's gonna start. Domitor of the Universe, and then the opening. Called it. Alright, skip this. Man, that ship is really fucking big. I, I just realized it's like tower. It's like way bigger than a shit ton of buildings. Ah, oh, fuck. News on Channel 4. Always gotta have the news broadcasts during the disasters. But why would you close the road? There's nothing blocking it. It's floating. No. <laughs> It is technically floating, though. You could technically drive under it. Motherfucking Hammerhead, I'm done. Are we really gonna see him make a return, or is he just watching? Just like a cameo. What the fuck is tentacles everywhere, like octopus? Oh, someone's watching, I guess. Oh, okay, I think it's just villain cameos, then. Those are the House of Evolution guys. Yeah, well, Sonic might show up. I don't know if those other guys are going to go there. It'd be interesting to see all those guys fucking try to fight. Like Hammerhead and the House of Evolution and all that. And do the rabbit punches, just Swiss cheese to this guy. He's probably fine, though. Yeah, I figured he'd be fine. The best part is that he's still fucking, like, butt-ass naked right now. Like, they're both butt-ass naked. Oh, fuck, it's Bang! Oh, that was sick. He didn't even do anything that special, but... The fact that I'm finally seeing him do something is epic. Oh! That thing just got fucking owned. This S-Class dude is literally just like a fucking, I'm gonna break your thumbs, Yakuza, fucking, <laughs> with a baseball pad. Okay, so this is the guy that they want to fight, Saitama fight. Well, Saitama's gonna kill him, but he can regen, so... I don't know, actually. By technicality, because of his regeneration, he might not beat him in one punch. <laughs> that was awesome. Open up, you have a visitor. Pulls the whole fucking door off. Wow, this thing regenerates from, like, fucking nothing. He's like a little face with bat wings. He's very fucking metal album cover. Bang! In a fighting pose. Let's see this. Oh fuck, they're going for rapid shots. Well, not the samurai guy, but... I like the rapid shots in One Punch Man. I'll, I'll give it that. I'm a fan too, so, you know, it's cool. Can't teach old dogs new tricks. Done. Yeah, this thing just regens from literally everything. Uh, reusing animation in One Punch Man, really? Damn, that eh. Not a big deal, but that was a little eh. That was a little iffy. It is kind of very funny how he's just ignoring all the attacks that are getting thrown at him. What is... Oh, it's a little marble thing. Okay, so he has like a core. So that's how you beat him, okay. Makes sense. Alright, so now they know how to beat him. Okay. It's cool to see the S-Class not being totally pathetic. Oh, dude, cuts everywhere. That was awesome. Or it's not was awesome, it's still awesome, but... What the fuck? Oh, I was like, what, what the fuck's going on? It's like a sky view of the city, I think. Wait, what is this, actually? I don't even... Oh, it's a map of, like, the interior of the ship, I guess, maybe. That was weird. 
I'm probably just being dumb, but... <laughs> He's gonna guide Saitama out. I'm done. <laughs> this fucking guy. <laughs> that was awesome. Alright, so where's he going? Where'd he end up going? Oh, is he in the control room with the fucking tentacle guy? Oh, he is. Okay. Go ahead, give him the hyped up artwork. He's just about to get fucking owned anyway. Animation just fucking boosted up. Third person talking. Alright, you're special. Alright, got the eye catcher. Okay, so this is a pretty cool action packed episode. That one moment of reused animation was pretty iffy, honestly, but whatever. It's not a big, big deal. One Punch Man, of course, has outstanding animation. I just expect with its standard of animation that they wouldn't do that. And I don't think they have for, like, the entire run until now. But whatever, Saitama's gonna beat the shit out of this guy. We're about halfway through. Who the fuck is this guy? You're weird looking. Oh, well, Saitama's not even hurt. <laughs> I'm surprised how simplistic this squid guy's design is compared to most um, creatures in One Punch Man. Not a complaint, just it looks kind of cool in a simplistic kind of way. I wasn't paying attention. What's he doing? Like throwing gravity at Saitama? He's beyond gravity, bro. He's like a god. Alright, pretty badass animation on this. I'm sure Saitama either got hit by that and wasn't hurt or dodged. All you're doing is tossing pebbles, so true, honestly. Like, it was devastating, but, oh. He really just split his fucking head with a rock. It's over that fast. Damn. Didn't even have to punch him. So, yeah, Saitama's looking for the boss. Pretty much expected. What the fuck? This kid just pulled, like, a massive fucking computer out of his backpack, I guess. That was Licenseless Rider, wasn't it? It took me, I saw a bike roll up and some guy said something. Unless I was seeing things. I don't, I'm not gonna rewind it, so. Do you just bite that shit? I'm done. Motherfuckers, like, I know he's still naked because he's not gonna, like, get clothes, but it's just funny how no one really cares or is paying attention to that fact. Whoa, what the fuck. This is that big attack that they've been fucking hyping up. Oh my god, this bitch. She'll probably just destroy it. I'll give her credit. She's a fucking total bitch and a brat, but she's fucking strong. Yeah. No chance. Fucking bitch. Oh, this ship's fucked. Maybe not completely fucked, but it's pretty fucked. Yeah, <laughs> that was pretty badass. She's like the only S class who's done anything significant so far. It's kind of sad. That she is like second rank, but still. Fucking licenseless rider. All these other fodder heroes who fucking tried to fight the Sea King are showing up. That's cool, though. They're gonna try and do as little as they, you know, they're gonna do what they can, even if it's little. They're gonna try and find survivors. That's cool. Animation? Nice. Like that dynamic. Oh, fuck. That's that One Punch Man shit I do like. Oh, Bang's going in. Do something sick, bro. I don't know what he does. They haven't really, like, explained, like, his martial arts. Oh, he just took the marble. Nice. Oh, Bang took a hit. No. Good animation, though. You took a hit, but it was worth it for that animation. Muscles, fuck. Popping veins, bro. This fucking Cyclops guy, just fucking stern. Here comes Saitama. Fucking. Probably gonna tear shit up. I mean, Saitama's probably gonna one-shot this guy, so I hope it's a good fight, at the very least, before Saitama one-shots him. How much time is left? Eh, getting close to the end of the episode. Oh, that looks fucking epic! What the fuck, Saitama? You just come in looking badass as fuck? It's good you're not underestimating him. Boros, I already knew that, because I looked up his name for the tags in my last video. I didn't know anything else about him, I just looked up his name. That is a good question. What the fuck do you want with Earth? I wasn't really 
fucking I didn't really care because it was just one punch man and villains just kind of show up but yeah what do you want with Earth I wasn't really paying attention but I think he said something about a prophecy oh so is this guy like a he's like a reverse one not a reverse one punch man but like a evil one punch yeah I guess reverse like oh fuck he punched oh my god it's not a, it can't I know he one punches dudes, but really? That was it? He survived one punch. Even Saitama was like, what? Like, Okay, he destroyed the armor. Alright, okay. <laughs> That's a fucking face. <laughs> Alright, so he's gonna get even stronger than he already was, which... I guess we didn't really know how strong he was, but... He has a transformation. That's so expected, it hurts. So expected it hurts. I say, I say the randomest fucking shit so <laughs> Great. Oh my god, you're gonna cause seizures, bro. Is this allowed to air on TV in Japan? Is that the end of the episode? Yeah, okay, that was the end of the episode. I doubt there will be anything after the credits. Nah, just okay. So that episode of One Punch Man, that was actually a really badass episode, honestly. Um... The animation was on point as fuck. It was fantastic animation outside of that one moment where they reused animation, but the rest of the episode more than made up for it. Uh, this guy getting one-punched and living. I mean, he, Saitama hit the armor, so whatever. We'll see what happens after, but yeah, that was really cool. And uh, it's cool to see the S-Class actually like fighting and actually doing something. Because for a while in the fight, the guy was just kind of arguing with the tentacle dude. And they're trying to attack, but he's just ignoring them completely while he's arguing. So it was kind of like, wow, really? The S-Class dudes are looking this pathetic? But then Tornado came in. She did her thing. That was epic. And then they all started fighting back. They found the little marbles and everything. Bang, I hope is not out of the fight yet. But since Saitama's fighting the big bad guy, I could see him being out of the fight. I'm sure he'll do more epic stuff later in the series, but, uh, yeah, seeing what he could do here is cool. I do wish they would explain his, uh, martial art that he does with the weird, like, blue lines that come from his hands, but, yeah, other than that, um, it was really cool, though. There's not much to say. It was an action episode, so, yeah, the animation was fantastic. The story progression, they're almost done defeating the fodder, and, uh, Saitama has encountered the main boss, so... Not a ton of story progression, but it's One Punch Man. Can't expect too much. It's a lot of fighting, so that plays into not being a lot of story progression as well. Uh, the pacing was good. It was better than the last episode. Way better than the OVA. And I guess I should just mention that the OVA was apparently like a a thing that you got with like a recent volume that came out in Japan. I don't know if it cost any more or if it was free with the volume. But it was just like a little extra bit of animation that was, I'm assuming, free, but maybe not. I don't know. But, uh... Yeah, I still hold all my opinions on it, but I might have been a little hard on it since it is just kind of a little extra thing that came with a volume. It's not like a big, you know, movie or a big OVA or nothing. It's just like a little thing. So, yeah, maybe I was a touch hard on it, but I, my criticisms still stand for it. But this episode was fucking awesome. I'd give this episode probably a solid 8.5 to 9 out of 10 for the action alone. And also the fact that this guy is like a reverse One Punch Man, he's a reverse Saitama, like he's so strong that he's looking for someone who can stimulate him and, you know, fix his boredom, and that's kind of what Saitama's doing. So will this actually be like a legitimate fight? I doubt it, but that would be cool, I guess. I, I don't know what's going to happen, we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, but he took that punch, like I said, it was to his armor, and, you know, technicality, but we'll see what happens when Saitama actually punches him again. And Saitama's face, of course, was fantastic with the debris flying by, and he just had that really simplistic drawn. That was awesome. So, yeah, I really liked it. It was funny. It was action-packed. So I'd probably give it a solid 8.5, maybe an 8.8 .8 out of 10. Getting close to the 9. Maybe a 9 out of 10. I don't know. Ratings don't matter. But anyway, I really liked it. So, thanks for watching this video. Tell me what you guys thought of this episode of One Punch Man in the comment section below. Follow me on Instagram. I post things there sometimes. Give this video a thumbs up. That would help me out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already or if you like what you've seen here. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.